welcome to the Minnesota Outdoorsman Show. Today we're out here on Lake Mille Lacs. We're doing a little walleye fishing. Uh, we're trying to watch a few bobbers here. We've had a little action. We had two eaters. We're in 12 feet of water doing a little slip bobber fishing with uh, leeches and plain hooks. Uh, today we got Eric Hendricks here. Uh, you know him as Biggie in the food platforms here on the website. And he's going to talk a little bit about just kind of intro uh, some of your segments here. Yeah, the first one we got uh, my cousin Todd and his son Tyler are picking the blossoms off of one of our apple trees in our yard. It's uh, smaller, so we want it to get more growth on it and not produce fruit right now because it's maybe going to have three apples on it by the end of the year. So we just want to have more growth, get it thicker and bigger and out of the deer's reach mainly. So there we go. Well, let's dive into that and check it out. First few years, if you pick off the flowers, I think an apple tree that apple tree that doesn't produce fruit fruit will grow probably an extra eight inches Daddy. in height instead of putting energy into growing apples, it puts it into growing the tree. So if you pick the fruit or the blossoms now, you'll get more vigorous growth out of your tree versus a tree this size puts all the work into blossoms and growing apples and. <clears throat> Throughout the summer, chances are it'll probably abort most of the fruit anyway. So you wind up with no fruit and less growth. So by picking out the blossoms now, you can put all of its energy into getting bigger. All right, well, we're back. Um, that was a pretty sweet little deal there. Yeah. I mean, it makes sense why I let the apples grow if it's gonna stint the growth. And got the kids out helping too. Yeah, exactly. Well, we're still out here on Mille Lacs, obviously. <laughs> haven't moved, haven't no. caught anything yet. We were gonna try to shoot these segments a little ahead of each other or space them out a little more, but we've had, again, we had a little more action here, caught a couple more fish. So we're up to four for the night. Yeah. Doing pretty good. I mean, we got four years, we got four more to go. And Averaging one an hour. Yeah, and we got a helper over here too. Uh, Laney's helping out, so directing. Anyways, we're gonna jump into another segment here. Uh, yeah, this is pretty much. I was out food plot, and I just carried the camera along and kind of showed you what I was doing on a few things. I don't know. It's just kind of a cool segment. I did a bunch and a little bit of all the time that I had. So well, let's jump right into it. All right. All right. Let's check it out. All right, well, I'm up here on my uh, the spring brassica plot. I guess that's what I'm going to call it now because that's what I've been posting it as. And, uh, this is my favorite plot. I came in here and killed it off uh, about two weeks ago, but it's starting to bounce back already. I'm just going to spray now, and then we're going to get to planting. Uh, so I laid that on pretty thick for two reasons. Uh, one, actually three. Germination rate's not going to be as great because I'm just broadcasting it. And I don't want to, I don't really want to drag it because when you drag or disc or till after your roundup, all you did was wasted roundup and money. Because you're digging up dormant seed that's underneath the soil. As soon as you disc or drag or do whatever, you're going to bring that right up to the top of the soil and it's going to grow and then, uh, so after you spray and round up, don't disc or till. Always spray after you're done disking and tilling. Uh, so I have seed laying on top of the ground. Germination's not gonna be the best. Uh, I'm also gonna have turkey and blackbird and crows up here like crazy eating the seed. And uh, <laughs> I also want it thick so the deer just don't walk through it. They walk on the edge of it. So. We're going to see how it goes. It may not work out for me, but the good thing is it's early in the year. If it doesn't work, I can try something else. All right, now I'm going to put Egyptian wheat. As you can see, that's where we come in onto this food plot. So I'm going to put a screen up uh, from there up to my deer stand, which is right over here, so I can sneak in in case there is a deer out on the food plot. 
I can sneak in behind that Egyptian wheat, get into my stand without the deer seeing me, or if deer are staging in one of the trails or out in the oaks, they won't see me come in. Hi, um, my name is Lainey. Welcome to Lake Malax. Um, <sighs> Well, as you can see, it's uh, been a pretty decent night on the lake. Uh, like I said, we're on tw in 12 feet of water. We got uh, plain hooks, leeches, slipovers, uh, my favorite way to fish. Anyways, um, take a minute, go to the site, www.minnesotaoutdoorsman.com. It's mnoutdoorsman.com. Sign up, uh, hop in the forums, uh, you, you learn something, ask questions, uh, just get involved. It's, it's, it's a fun site. Uh, we're gonna be kind of doing some videos different things that are happening in the forums, uh, information, we're going to bring it to video. So try to do this once or twice a month. Check back. We'll see you later. Thanks for joining us today.